Hello everyone, I am Dr. P. Ganesh Kumar from Anna University Regional Campus, Coimbatore. I am going to teach you how to create a website in WordPress. My lecture comprises of five major categories while creating a website in WordPress. Registration, basic customization, adding content, managing content, advanced customization. Registration. Before creating a website in WordPress, we should create an account and this account creation is called registration. It has to follow six steps. We have to mention the type of website, we have to mention what kind of site it is, you have to give the theme, you have to mention the site name and you have to choose the plan. And finally, account is created. Let me give you a demo for this step. So, www.wordpress.com, this page appears and you have to start by get started. Or if you have an account, you directly go to sign in. I will start here, get started. So first it will ask the website, kind of site or either you have to start with a blog or you have to start with the website. I choose to start with the website. Next it will ask about theme. These are all some themes available. I am going to skip for now because this website creation will going to use the default theme. Next you have to give a website address. That is to be typed in the URL. So my website name I am going to give is So after giving the name, it will check whether the name is available or not. If it is available, it will give you uh, signal to start the creation process in the free account. See, my website 517.wordpress.com. So I am going to select this. So the fourth step is start with free account. So these are the various plans available. I am going to start with the free plan. Here you have to create an account, you have to give your email id and you have to give your password and if you click continue the whole process is closed. The last step is it will give you a default website. While before editing the default website you have to go to your email account and you have to click link sent by the wordpress.com to confirm your email id. So after that you can create editing your default website. Since I have an account already, I am going to log in. Start with the website, skip for now, and give me a surname name, test website. So this is the default site provided by the WordPress after the registration step. Next, basic customization. Once the default website is created, you need to do some customization activity based on uh, so that the website will be uh, created uh, for us. For which 
you have to go to the my site and you have to go to the customize then the pan and here you will find uh, the options in the left side for site identity colors and background fonts header image i will tell you one by one site identity so you have to give a suitable site title okay, first website If you want to give any tagline, if you want to add any logo, you can add either you can add it from media library or you can add it from upload files. So I am going to use make this available. And if you want to add a site icon, you can add a site icon. So what is site icon? See. After uh, selecting the icon, look at it. The URL will have this icon. The URL will have this icon. So it will be like this. See our site name with the URL. See our site name with the URL. So once you have done all the steps, don't forget to do save and publish. Let's say this way. Let's say they can customize. We finished with site identity, then colors and background. So by default, the outer frame color is uh, in black. I can change some other colors, or I can give some images. So right now, I am choosing only the color. After doing every editorial process, you have to do save and publish. Then fonts. Either you can choose your preferred font, or you can. Uh, let the default font be the uh, font available for your website. So I am leaving it for the default one. If you want, you can choose any font here. And you can go for header image. If you want to add any header image, you can add the header image here. Uh, I am going to add this image as a header image. Okay, and publish. If you want to add a new image, you can add. Otherwise, the header image will be available. It will take some time to upload this image. So, yeah, the image get uploaded. So this is what the basic step. Uh, next, how to add content. So either site pages or black pages, how to add. And we are, I'm going to teach you how to add image or how to add video in site page as well as black page. So here in the left pan, you find a site pages. You click site pages. It will uh, take you to a place where the list of web pages are created by default for this website. So there are two pages are created already. One is about page and a contact page. So I am going to uh, edit the about page. So this is about page. If you want to use edit, you can edit information. This is an about page. Page. It tells about me and my website. So you can make this as a heading, uh, you can make it uh, this one as, as list, bulleted list, I can make this bold and whatever the editorial uh, 
See, you can do it. So, only after do that, you have to click the update. See, if you are new to the WordPress.com, after creating an account, a verification mail will be sent to you. You have to check the verification page. Only after that, this update option will be enabled. So, whenever you do any addition or any uh, updation in the site pages or blog pages, please don't forget to do the update task so that you all the changes can get updated. How to add any image or picture in the site pages? So, site page about. So here I can click add media to add any media by right? this any uh, image, document, video, audio. For these uh, categories, videos and audio, they need some premium version. See, they go. They need some premium version, and you can add images directly. See, I am going to add this image. In the blog post, I am going to edit. This is my blog post. This blog discuss about the So in side page, I have given a demo of how to attach uh, image and here in blog page, I am going to uh, give a demo how to attach a video. So I already told if you click add media, uh, you can add uh, many medias, images, documents, uh, videos and audios. If you are going for adding video and audio, you can ask you a premium version, but Instead of that, you can do uh, some other way that is you can select any video from YouTube and made that video link available here by clicking insert bar edit link here. I will give a demo on that www.youtube.com about this is small video clip. Oh, yeah, this is uh, about uh, running time is one minute twenty one second. I have selected this video. Select that URL and. Uh, Made that URL available here. So now it's available. So So we discuss our site pages, blog pages, how to add here. Now after that, how the content can be managed, both the site pages as well as blog pages. To manage the content, it is very simple task. See, when you go to site pages, you can find published, draft, scheduled, trash. Likewise, when you go to blog posts, you can also find the same thing, published, 
draft and other things when you do that activity it will come here it will come here so in the site page we go for uh, editing the site page about editing you can find uh, the page settings here you can do a lot of activities to manage the content so these are the options available you can use this for managing the content in the website likewise for black page blog post also you will have to click the edit here you can do the managing task Status, categories. Categories are the one you can categorize the post according to the kind of uh, discussions. Uh, you can share and you can post format, any kind, what kind of media it is like that. You can do all those. So, this is the, all the options available for managing the content. Next, advanced customization. So, in this category, we I am going to teach you how to create a menu, how to create a widget. Other options, if you want, you can use it for your website creation process. So for that, my site, the left pad, you have to click the customize. So here, menu. You click the menu go to primary menu primary menu are the one that the menus that are available that is home about content right? social menu you can add whatever the menu you want you can add like a twitter facebook and other things so i'm going to create menu so already the menus are available if you want to add any menu i can add so in the i can go to add qualification I am going to add, add address. So I added two menu I two site pages. One is qualification and one is address. So qualification I want to make it as a sub menu to about and address I want to make it as a sub menu. So to make it as a sub menu, just to drag it and a cursor appears. See, a cursor appears like this, and you can just place it over that. It will be make it as a sub then save and publish after that you could find see uh, in, under about there is a qualification under contact there is address so you can edit those pages to include your qualification details and to include your address details like the one uh, that is uh, discussed uh, previously how to add see if you click site pages you can find the additional site pages uh, apart from contact and about qual uh, qualification and address you can edit this page to have the information uh, that are available to know your address or to know your quality or you can add any number of web pages you can add any number of web pages and one more thing apart from menu the important uh, thing is widget widget is a small application that runs in your website Already some web widgets are available in the default uh, website uh, designed by the uh, WordPress that is a text widget and a search widget. In addition to that you can also add your own widget. You can also add uh, your interested widget. So for this click sidebar. See where I am. See widget. Then sidebar. Here add widget. So here many widgets are available. So I am going to choose the contact info and map widget. So the contact and map widget is you can give the title as a location. Then give the address.
so it takes some time you can't if you want you can add a phone number you can add a contact number see this will be uh, looking like this location like So in the advanced customization, I have given a demo for menu and widget. You can go for uh, uh, you can go for some other kind of content options uh, where we can display that and other kinds. And you can go for a static page, which page you want to make it as a static static page is uh, by default. And you can do a lot of things. So that's it. Thank you for listening.